coming full time has just given me the opportunity to just fully put my concentration on football. Izzy, welcome to Robins TV. Um, looking back at last weekend, a disappointing result, but a very proud moment for yourself in your first senior start for the club. Yeah, so obviously when I saw I was in the starting 11, I was really chuffed and like happy and I feel like I had a responsibility to kind of prove myself to Lauren and Jen to do well and, and prove to them that they've made the right decision to choose me for the starting 11. And for yourself, obviously you were with the squad part-time last year whilst you were doing fulfilling your college qualifications, etc. How have you found coming on board full-time with the squad? It's definitely been a big change. Um, I mean, with, with college and academy last year and also first team as well, it was a lot to deal with and it was a lot to think about. So coming full-time has just given me the opportunity to just fully put my concentration on football and just full focus on football, like no uni, no education. And then it gives me the opportunity to use this year to really push forward with, with my career. And it's not been a straight road over the last six months or so. You've, you've come back from a hamstring injury. How have you kind of found working through that rehabilitation process during pre-season and then coming back and, and, and play, playing 90 minutes at the weekend? Yeah, I mean, playing 90 minutes was definitely a, a big step for me. It was a really like proud moment, especially because it's been a long time since that has happened. Um, last year I had a, had a lot of injuries, like hamstring, dislocated shoulder, broke wrist, like it was just, it was just one after another and it was really mentally challenging at some points. Um, I'm not going to lie, the parts of the rehab, I just didn't want to be there. <laughs> I just wanted to kind of give up in a fact, but um, I feel like I'm in a really good mental state right now and physical state as well. And I was really happy that they gave me the opportunity on Sunday to kind of prove to myself and to them that I can play 90 minutes and that I can perform well under pressure and put all that stuff in the past in the back of my mind. So this season you'll be looking to kick on from that and kick on from your first senior start. We welcome Sunderland to the HPC this weekend, a new team into the championship, but they're flying high at the moment. Yeah, they've, they've started really well this season, to be fair to them. So it's going to be a really challenging game for us. I feel like we need to kind of put Sunday to the back of our mind and it's not very often we get two back-to-back -back home games as it is anyway so it's a really good chance to redeem ourselves in a way and the fans will be there again supporting us as well so um, I feel like we'd all have an extra kick in us because of Sunday that will be able to motivate us um, against Sunderland and hopefully we can get the three points and start working our way back up the table again. You touched on it there, the fans. How great has it been to have them in the stadium? Because obviously you wouldn't, you wouldn't have played in front of them before. No, yeah, like I've never really played in front of fans before anyway because of, I've come straight from the academy. Like it was always just kind of just parents. <laughs> but um, it's it's like surreal. It makes you it makes you more motivated and it definitely gives you an extra oomph on the pitch when you hear them shouting and, and cheering and stuff. So it's, it's definitely an advantage to have them all there and hopefully they can help us out on Sunday as well.